Moving forward. This book is based upon the true discernment I have encountered with demonic dwellings, my steps with God, and past relations of the heart. I am no psychologist, I am a person that has experienced these behavior types. Not to use the solemn rite of exorcism for entertainment, of course, any exposure can endanger future satanic attacks of victims who suffer. This book is to give people who struggle including myself with demon possession an open dialogue. I hope the people struggling can reprogram the conscious and subconscious with true discernment, and overcome affliction addiction. Changing the way the mind thinks is a step-by-step -step process, and is possible to start today. My experiences empower me to impact diligently while walking through spiritual warfare. Most people get overwhelmed when talking about evil spirits also known as enemies. So much so no one came close to the raw edge I have been able to capture in this book. No one wants to love enemies, once they have overstepped boundaries through the affair of matters dear to the heart. The religious talk about the mental disorder, without acknowledging effective usage of the sixth sense is needed to truly believe. Many people suffer from this disorder inside and outside the church. And don't acknowledge it as trial tests, which leaves their sense of a higher authority surrounded by fears. This will allow people suffering to face fears and acknowledge things they cannot gracefully explain. God would rather you forgive the enemy 70 times 7, and he doesn't intend on anyone avoiding reconciliation with enemies. Because he doesn't believe anyone's pure intent should become distorted. My prior book The Unlimited Resurrection formed the basis of this book. To avoid murmuring over spiritual warfare, I wanted to face the enemy's reconciliation by bringing it to a general perspective. My central message derived from having an effect and reason for topics of interest. This message usually affects people in multiple areas of life daily and reveals how it is possible to visualize things differently. Once you have researched current topics to find an effect and reason for writing a book, the next option is reviewing how people from the past dealt with the same issues. Along with acknowledging God's plan and purpose for your life. Most times you can start with a testimony to guide you through the emotions of writing. Enjoy your copy of this book.